Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another video, and this is a 10 hidden feature video. We had a little trouble with the first one, so I redid this one because the last one got cut off short. So this is our 10 hidden features for the Honor 6X. So these are the complete version of it, not the seven minutes and then cut off version of it. Sorry about that, I did realize that a bit too late. Uh, thank you for the 12,000 views though, of those of you who did see it, but this is the complete version, so you'll finally get the hidden ending of the 10 hidden features uh, video. And as always, hopefully there'll be one feature here you didn't know about, including the camera one that you didn't get to see before. Now for the first hidden feature, it's definitely an important one, although it's only semi-hidden. It is the more settings for your home screen. Now most people just pinch to zoom on a home screen in order to do widgets or wallpapers, but with this phone, you can actually take it one step further and go to more settings. And this has two really big important ones in my opinion, and that is rotate, auto rotate, as well as home screen loop. You also have some fun ones like shake and auto align, uh, or even a uh, home layout designing the actual layout of how many apps you want in a row. But with this, I can allow myself to always loop, which I have to have on my Android phone, so I love that feature, as well as rotate the actual home screen. Again, this does not come default outside of the box, but it's a really helpful uh, feature that you can unlock once you find this hidden area. Now the next hidden feature I honestly wish was on a lot more smartphones. Have you ever sent a messenger and you're like, oh my god, wait, I meant to do this, or I meant to say this, or damn you, autocorrect? Well, with the Honor 6X, you can actually hit the message button, and in menu, you can actually have the settings enable cancel send, which means you have four seconds after you send the message to double tap the message and then cancel it. So as soon as you double tap it, it will cancel the message, not send it, and stop you from that embarrassing one. Four seconds isn't a lot of time granted, but it still definitely can help you out in that tight pinch. Now for the next hidden feature, we're going to go into the settings menu, and right here at the bottom of the first part of the screen, notification panel and status bar. And this one is called drag actions. Now. This kind of sounds weird, but you have different type of actions depending on what side of the screen you want to go on. See, if I swipe down here, I actually have shortcuts or notifications. And by default, how this works is if you have notifications, it will go here by default first. And if you don't have notifications, it will go by here. But what if you want to know what you're doing? Well, then you can actually determine the drag position. So you can actually go left for notifications, or right for shortcuts. So you can choose which way you prefer. Uh, the smart selection does by default, no notifications, goes to widgets, uh, over here, or shortcuts rather, and you have on the left side notifications. But I kind of like the determining one, kind of so you always know which one you're getting, but it's up to you if you like it to be more automatic or more manual, but this gives you the option. Now for our next step, it is under the Smart Assistance, which is in the Settings portion, and this is customizing the navigation bar. So most phones don't let you do this, but there are a few phones out there that really do, and we love them for it. It's something that the Honor has definitely been known for, and that is customizing the navigation bar on the bottom. So for me, I am very much so uh, used to a certain style of my uh, screens. I actually like the screen layout to be like this, so multi back, or sorry, home and back. That's how I like it. However, uh, stock Android has this back, home, and multi, so it depends on how you like it. But not only that, you can customize which way you like it, but then you can also customize it with this, meaning you can have a next part for opening your navigation panel. So I can just tap this, I don't need to reach to the top, and I can always pull down the navigation. So I really like that just because you can completely customize it, make it simple and easy to use the way you like it to be. So really simple and easy and I love the customization that Honor allows you to do if you know where to look. 
Now this next part can definitely help you out with your battery life and to make sure you don't accidentally call anyone. It's under the Smart Assistant and it is Touch Disable Mode. Now Touch Disable Mode, what this does, it's at the bottom over here and it makes sure that when the phone is in your pocket and basically realizes that there's no surrounding light inside of uh, going towards it with the sensors up at the top, then it knows hey, let's not turn the screen on if he accidentally presses it in any way, shape, or form. This is really important, of course, because it makes sure that your phone screen isn't constantly being hit on while it's in your pocket or in your purse. And, of course, you have the ability to make sure that you're not actually dialing someone or anything along those lines. It's a really important feature. Very few phones have it. The Honor does. And again, as long as you know where to look for it. Now our next feature is in a different portion in the settings menu and that is under advanced settings and this is the storage cleaner. So we're first going to start off by hitting the advanced settings portion right here and then we're going to go to memory and storage. Once we're here what you're going to do is you're going to hit storage cleaner. What this will help do is clear certain things that aren't really necessary anymore especially things like cache data that can build up over time if you never cleaned it up and definitely take up up to gigs of your storage. So for instance, it's found a lot of stuff that I don't really need or use or cache that I might not need anymore. It's just taking up memory. This is right now taking up 103 megabytes. The fact that it's that much when this is a brand new phone definitely tells me something. So I'm gonna hit this. It's gonna clean it all nice and up and that's gonna maximize my storage. It is a great feature to have a storage cleaner just built into your phone, no third-party apps, just all the goodness that comes with it. So really great feature, definitely a feature that I really like. Now for this next feature, you might not really know to look for it, but for this phone, for the Honor phone, you're really gonna have a great addition in the phone manager but sometimes you just want to get to a specific part of that app so when you open up the phone manager this is what you have however sometimes you just want to go specifically to one portion and don't want to launch the entire thing every time so to do that you're going to go into settings and tap shortcuts what this will allow you to do is have one of these right on the front of your home screen so say if you want to um, often use for some reason harassment filter harassment filter is the part of this app then make sure that your blocked phone calls or text messages are kept in a nice and simple position so this will allow you to just go right to that and you can block messages or calls that you never want to have and make sure that you don't ever get it or receive it so again it's a really great breakdown of just having these right away and that way you can just go right to it exactly when you need it right away. So a great shortcut for your phone and using all the tools of phone manager but only the specific ones you want. Now for the next feature in this phone we're going to go again to the settings and going to go to the fingerprint ID and although this does have a fingerprint reader it's one of the only phones that really does more with the fingerprint reader than most other phones do and that is you can actually use this for a lot of different things on your phone so these are the fingerprint gestures and they're all laid out for you right here you can take a photo or video just by tapping it you can also do this for answering a call or stopping an alarm however one of my favorites definitely has to be swiping down to show the notification panel so just swipe down on it and swipe up very quick and easy and even if you're looking at your photos, well, then you can just swipe left and right to browse them. So when we go to the photos here, now they do have to be full screen, so we'll just do that. We can now swipe between them really quick, simple, and easy. And I love it because it looks like it's just doing it on its own, but really it's using the fingerprint in the back. Really great for showing off uh, photos without covering them up or needing to touch the screen. So for that purpose, the fingerprint gestures are definitely going to be something you should be taking a look at. Now another hidden feature we have seen on a couple of phones, but I really like the implementation that Honor has done for this feature, and that is the floating dock. So for this one, we're going to go to Smart Assistance, 
and then go to floating dock. Now what this does is it has a little button right here that allows you to do a bunch of different things. So you can go back, home, screen uh, between it, you can lock the screen, you can even optimize your phone right away. So I really love that, that just how you can kind of quickly do everything. You can lock the screen and have that ability to do it and then again just go check out all your apps hit back all that kind of stuff right at your fingertips and kind of put it on whichever side you want to have it on really simple quick and easy but with a bigger screen phone it's nice to have that option just so you can do everything from one spot and you don't need to reach up or down for anything you need to do on the phone and finally we can't do a hidden features video with at least doing one hidden feature on the camera and this phone really has a lot of features on this camera you have a lot of different settings to your right you also have a lot of different modes on your left but one of the most peculiar ones actually comes from the front screen so when you see me on the front screen right here you might notice actually when we swipe over here you have something you normally never have on your front screen which is a panorama shot what this will allow you to do is literally tilt your phone starting from the middle then tilt it left then tilt it right to take all of the different kind of photos now i already have done one so we didn't have to show the background here but this is a regular selfie and this is a panorama selfie so as you can see you get a lot more in the shot in comparing the two shots so really just a lot and you don't lose detail really so it really is nice just to have a much wider shot definitely good for friends and family however you do kind of have to stand still um, it's not the easiest implementation of it you start from the middle go left to right other smartphones have done similar things like this but very very few have it so the fact that this has it as well is a great showing to take a really wide selfie instead of just taking a standard one so again, the difference is very dramatic and something that you definitely not normally see on a selfie camera. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Thank you as always for watching.